guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we are checking out another beer from the awesome beer mail package that John and Eric sent. Please check out their channel. I will leave a link in the description of this video. I've talked about their channel a ton and I've linked you guys to their channel a bunch. But yeah, check out their channel. They do awesome beer reviews. Um, this is from Fulton Brewing, which I believe is, they're in Minnesota, Minneapolis. Um, this is called the Garage Series. This is Fulton Batch 300. I don't know a whole lot about this beer or this brewery. I believe it's just like a local craft brewery to them. Um, it does say that this is a single hop mosaic India Pale Ale. Um, and it was originally brewed to commemorate the 300th batch at their downtown brewery in Minneapolis. So 7% alcohol by volume. It says 74 IBUs. The only bummer about this bottle is there is no date on it. So I have no idea how old this is. I'm sure it's fairly fresh, but I'm, I don't know. So I love, love, love me some mosaic hops. I actually um, was just trying to look up. I've, I've heard of Fulton. Um, I, on our podcast, there's a uh, buddy of mine, Jim, that lives in Minnesota. And I actually do the podcast with Sean, too, who's in Minnesota. But they had both talked about Fulton. I think Sean actually gets Fulton growlers for his parties that he has every year, his arcade parties. And they've talked about Fulton. But I've never had anything from them. Obviously, I don't get Fulton beer here. I don't even know what their distribution is like, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to this one. Stoked to try a Fulton beer. This bottle cap's hilarious, too. It says, bottle opener required. So thanks, Fulton, for letting us know that. <laughs> we'll keep that one. I can smell that already, which is awesome. So this is a 12-ounce beer. I don't uh, I don't review too many 12-ounce beers. I just realized that as I was uh, pouring this. I don't want to go too crazy aggressive, see if we can get all this in there. And we can. There's a nice head on that. I like the simple label on that. It's just a straight up like star with hops. It kind of looks like it's 300 from Fulton. Yeah, I love me some mosaic hops. So um, this pours a crystal clear kind of a golden amber color. Excellent carbonation. There's a ton of bubbles streaming up to the top of the glass. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but. Um, it looks great and awesome. I mean, two fingers of bright white head. It is super, super tight, uh, packed little bubbles. It looks really, really soft and pillowy. So this actually um, almost looks like a West Coast style IPA in the glass. I don't know what kind of malt. I think I might be wrong. I might be misspeaking, but I think when I, I, I looked up Fulton just because I wanted to read about them and this beer, there's no... I don't think this beer has a score on either Rate Beer or Beer Advocate. I usually don't look beers up ahead of time, but I kind of wanted to look it up. I think there's pills, some kind of Pilsner malt and then Mosaic hops with this one. So super simple. It looks great in the glass. So <clears throat> I could smell that when I first open it. So let's go ahead and stick our nose in it. Yeah, that's Mosaic. Um, just super tropical, fruity, dank, resinous. I kind of wish I had extra room in this glass to like shove my nose in this glass. Yeah, a good amount of citrus. There's citrus peel, oranges, tangerines, grapefruit. Um, I am getting a tiny bit. And it's not as pronounced as... Um, shit, what beer was that? Was it a treehouse beer? Alter Ego. Um, there is like that, that berry note in there, though. It's like that sweet kind of blueberry thing. But yeah, citrus for days. Um, it's not gushing. It's not like a juicy smelling beer. This actually, it does. It reminds me of a West Coast style beer. I don't know if that's bad or not. But yeah, it's it's just mosaic. It's that dank kind of tropical fruity. There's a bit of like an herbaceous note. Not like that crazy harsh green, but just like, just like mosaic hops in a glass. Yeah, it is. It's just mosaic is, is the star of the show here. It's a killer smelling beer. So let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, Eric, John, thank you, sir. Chairs. Wow, the berry note is actually way more pronounced in the taste of this than uh, than in the nose. That's crazy. I've never tasted that much berry in Simcoe before. Right up front though, you get that berry note, good amount of citrus, there's oranges, there's tangerines. There's like a sweet kind of a citrus thing too, or a sweet kind of tropical fruit thing going on. I don't know what exactly that is. Middle of the mouth though, you get popped with a nice bitterness, um, kind of rolls, you know, front to back on your tongue. It doesn't sit and like 
stay on your tongue. It doesn't attack any part of your mouth. It just kind of rolls front to back. It's kind of, it's actually awesome. And then that sweet kind of citrus berry note comes back on the finish. 70, what is it, 70 IBUs? 74 IBUs. Good amount of bitterness, but it's balanced. Um, I like the sweetness on the on the back end. It's not like a bready kind of a malty sweetness. It's more like a sweet kind of citrus, like that berry note from the mosaic. Mouth feels like, it's not thin, but it's not like a, it's, it's not thin, but it's not like that awesome kind of New England mouthfeel that I've come to love. Um, I don't know, medium minus mouthfeel. At 7% though, this is crushable. I am loving the mosaic hops in this. It is crazy how much berry I'm getting from the mosaic hops in this. I've never gotten that much berry before, but the berry is there. Um, with all that citrus and like tropical fruitiness. This is a killer beer from Fulton. I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is a new beer, um, just because there's no there's no uh, ratings on it, on either Rape Beer or Beer Advocate. I don't know if this is something that just kind of came out. I like this though. I mean, as far as IPAs go, if this is a shelf beer for Minnesota, I would I would buy this. I would drink this again. Like I wouldn't be upset if somebody said this is an extra in a trade. This is killer. I mean, shit, we're eight minutes, what is it? Six minutes into this and I've drank half of it already. It's going down real easy. But yeah, as it's warmed up more too, that dank kind of resinous um, note from the mosaic, is, it's awesome. Just kind of hangs out on your, on your palate for a little bit. Right in, like the, right in the middle of your tongue. And then those sweet kind of berry, tropical fruit, citrus notes come back. This, this is super easy drinking for 7%. I could drink three, four of these. I don't think there's, there wouldn't be palate fatigue with this. It's not like that over the top crazy, like resinous, like blast you in the face bitterness. Um, but this is good. Um, as far as the grade goes, I mean, I think this is an A beer. I really do. This is good for a Minnesota beer. I mean, I know Eric and John joke around about like having shelf turds in Minnesota. This is, this is good. I like this. I'm going to go 90 straight up on this one. Awesome stuff, guys. Thanks for sharing this. I'm glad I got to try something local to you guys. I'd like to try some more Fulton beers. I don't know if they're all... I mean, this is killer. I like this a lot. So that's it. If you guys have ever had Fulton, any kind of Fulton beer, leave a comment below and let me know what you think of them. If you've had Batch 300 or 300, I don't know if this is actually Batch 300, but if you've had 300, let me know what you think. Awesome stuff from Fulton in old Minneapolis. So I'm out of here, guys. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you later. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.